In today's video, I'll be opening up the Korean version of Transdimensional Beasts. Let's get going. So as mentioned, I'll be opening up the Korean version of Transdimensional Beasts. This is the set that focuses on Ultra Beast from the Sun and Moon games. And for those who are unfamiliar, this is actually half of Crimson Invasion in English. It's a pretty small set. It came out in 2017, I believe October 13th, and it only has 62 cards. The other half of Crimson Invasion is a set called The Awoken Hero, which features Sil Valley and also Gladian, one of the popular characters from the Sun and Moon games. Of course, today I'll be focusing on Transdimensional Beasts. You'll see Pokemon like Nihilego, Buzzlord, and even characters like Lusamine. So we'll see what we pulled today. Before we get started, please make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe if you enjoy my multi-language Pokemon openings. Let's get going! Alright, so this booster box actually has 30 booster packs with 5 cards per pack. So a little bit different from the previous sets that we've been opening. But I'd say that's the average number of packs per booster box for Korean and also Japanese booster boxes. And check out that pack art! Ooh, I like the red. I guess it's essentially what Crimson Invasion was, right? But check out Guzzlord, it's literally destroying a forest. The weird thing about this is that its tongue is basically the pincers coming out of its mouth, so literally ravaging what it's, what's in front of it, but let's get going. So I'm actually gonna cut these, again, five cards per pack. Hopefully we'll get a secret rare today if we're lucky enough. Sometimes it doesn't come up, but let's see. So of course, a lot of Ultra Beasts, even Dragon Pokemon, and of course, Pokemon from Sun and Moon. We have Spoink, a Selgore, well, these already feel so different from the sword and shield type cards and lonely sea <laughs> so in these packs you're not guaranteed a hollow card um, unlike the fairy rise and also dark order sets but whenever they do come up we'll appreciate them more won't we <laughs> a selgor we have houndour oh shalmet with dr uyama's artwork primate with yukimori two of my favorite artists and hakamo oh hakamo oh with the dash all right, let's keep going here. Next pack. Really like the pack art to this. Definitely looks a little bit older. I haven't actually opened this set in general ever before, so something cool to explore on my channel. We have here Jigglypuff. We have Mischievous. Oh, very nice artwork there of Mischievous. I think this is called the Dash Bag. <laughs> and also Mamoswine. Look at that, no hollows yet. Very interesting for sure. Okay, let's keep going here. So snippity snip snip. Hopefully some GXs too. We'll hopefully land that. We have Spoink here. Oh, Pikachu! We got it in Korean. It's so cute. I've seen these so much in other uh, sets as well. Swinub, Primeape, and also Beedrill. All right. Yeah, so guys, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with Korean cards, they tend to stick a little bit more together compared to Japanese cards. I know I would say this, but if you're new to the channel, just a regular fact I like to mention. So you're more familiar with Korean cards. Something shiny in the back. We got Bunnelby, got a little Shelmet. We got a little cute panda. Reggie Rock and oh there you go our first Ultra Beast and also our first GX we have Nihilego so this is the Ultra Beast that weirdly uh, possesses Lusamine towards the end of the game sorry if I spoiled that for you but it's really interesting it's a very it's the first Ultra Beast you also encounter if you play Sun and Moon I think a lot of us have already played it but good game in my opinion and also since it's mentioning transdimensional beasts a lot of these Ultra Beasts come from a different dimension so very very interesting we have Houndour we have Weedle Dash bag again, and also Mamo Swine. All right, let's keep going here. All right, Crimson Invasion, <laughs> basically, but without Sil Valley and without Gladian. So just please keep of it, uh, think of it that way. Okay, we have Jangmo, Execute, Houndour, Primeape, and another Beedrill. All right, so pretty quick these packs compared to English packs, which I don't really open anymore, but if you remember, English packs have 10 packs, 10 cards per pack. And Korean version only has five for most boxes. Some have eight, just depends on the set you open. Bunnelby, Oranguru. Finally, our first holographic, we got Reggie Ice. I did mention the Reggies are in this set and that's quite beautiful. Honestly, I feel like a lot of these artworks and Sun and Moon sets are very underrated. So uh, that's also why I like to open them on my channel so you guys can appreciate the really nice artwork in these sets. All right, let's keep going here. Stuffle, that's the name of the little cute panda. We have Feebas, looking very afraid. I hope nothing is about to fall on it. We have Miltank, Chilling, Mischievous. Also a very ravaged field, it looks like. Very sad, very lonely. All right, let's keep going here. So we got one GX and we got one Hollow. So not as generous as other sets, but very interesting indeed to see. Hopefully another Ultra Beast will come our way. We have Magikarp. Yes, there's also a Gyarados in the set. Execute, Lusamine. 
the one who's weirdly obsessed with all these ultra beasts and also is Velas. Don't know why. <laughs> but made it, it made it a really fun game. Sometimes the crazy characters make the games very, very interesting and fun to play. <gasps> we have a cute little Swablu here. We have Mischievous. We have a Weedle. Nice artwork there. Angry Wigglytuff in fairy form. Oh, and beware, another holographic. It's not too apparent, but hopefully you guys can see that there. Sometimes I have to double check if something's holographic. Usually with Japanese cards, they have the holographic border, so it's easy to see if it's hollow or not. Korean cards, it's a little bit different. Not as holographic as the English cards. Not, a, not as good card quality, but they're still fun to open in my opinion, especially if you're trying to learn the language. Okay, so we ended that with a Hound Hour. No, sorry, Hound Doom. That's the evolution form. Okay, let's see, the let's see what else we got. We got a cute little spoink. Very nice watercolor. Another Pikachu. I'm gonna keep this to the side here. Swine up. I like to keep my favorites. Bee drill. Of course, I keep everything, but I like to have a specific binder for Pikachus because they're so adorable. And then I just keep thinking of the color of crimson now because of Crimson Invasion with these packs. So interesting. We have Pile of Swine. So the whole Swine of family here. Mankey. Diggersby, enjoying a meal there. Regirock, oh, and a Lolan Raichu. So to match the little cute Pikachu we have. This is so holographic, actually, I like that. Very nice, bold artwork, too. Okay, so we are halfway done with our box. Let's see what else we can get. Not too many pulls, but hey, honestly, I'm happy with the artwork in the set overall. We have Grumpig, we have Mankey, we have Bunnelby, we have Altaria, ooh, and another GX, we have Alolan Exeggutor. Again, what I like about the Korean cards, they're not too shiny, not too glossy, and I actually kind of like that about these cards, so super cool. Hit that like button, guys, for all, all the GXs we've pulled so far. All right, let's keep going. Still got a lot of packs left. Hopefully pull something good. I hope you guys are enjoying these sets that I'm revisiting or visiting for the first time. Lot Sun and Moon, there's a lot of sets that have been overlooked in my opinion and are really fun to open. Especially when they're themed like this with the Ultra Beasts. They're quite fun in my opinion. Got Neha Lego. Hopefully we get the full art. If not, I definitely want to get that Lusamine full art. I love the trainer cards in this um, whole era. Let's keep going. But especially so Sword and Shield era have probably the best trainer cards in terms of quality and also artwork. Alright, let's keep going. On to the next pack, five more cards. We have Pikachu again, very happy about that. Grumpig, Swinub, chilling with, it's like a mix of fall and winter because the leaves are still there. Dash bag, ooh, and Como, oh, very, very nice. Big dragon Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Let's keep going. Okay, the gyms were interesting. It just reminds me of one of the gym challenges in the game. It was a very different approach with gyms. So we have Miltank here. Hopefully we get the secret rare, guys. We'll see. We still have a lot of packs left to go. Oranguru and Houndoom. Nice artwork there. And yes, as you can see, these will have the yellow borders, unlike the Japanese cards which have, which have these silver borders. Okay, we have Stuffle again, really cute there. Final B. Kakuna, very nice artwork. Eliza, uh, my friend, loves Kakuna so much. Hakamo and Ravaged Field. So if you need some Kakuna art, this is definitely the set to get. <laughs> okay, let's keep going here. And also Pikachu. I haven't seen too many Pikachus lately. So very nice to see Magikarp. Uh, Jack Jangmo, we have Mischievous, Regirock, oh, and a High Dragon. I feel like I've seen this card so many times, <laughs> but we have the holographic form. It's not too hollow, this one, but it's all right. I like High Dragon. I like really cool dark type Pokemon, especially if it's Dragon. I think Ghostlord is also the same, dark and Dragon. We have Miltank here, Jigglypuff, looking at that trans-dimensional hole. Uh oh, the Ultra Beasts are coming. Altaria. This should have been hollow, in my opinion. It's so it's so pretty. And also this um, energy card. Special colorless energy card. Okay, let's keep going here. Of course, there's some gold cards in this set too. There's three of them. Again, a pretty small set compared to English sets. It's always half of English sets. Diggersby, Lusamine, please come out in full art form. I'll be very happy if that happens. All right, so a handful of packs left. Oops, gonna make sure all the cards are down so I do not cut them. I always double check. You guys can always rest assured with me. I always double check my packs. <laughs> Shelmet, we have Phoebus, Magikarp, really nice artwork. And also there's a mechanic Magikarp there. There's Team Rocket on there. We'll see Primate. Ooh, and a Milotic holographic. It's very bold, this one. And I actually like it with the yellow borders. It matches Milotic in terms of color, so. Big fan of that. Hit the like button, guys, for my logic, especially if you're a fan. 
Now my Lodic is kind of like the counterpart to Gyarados in terms of having a fish Pokemon evolve into some crazy sea beast. Mankey, Miss, Miss Magius, and also Hakamo. All right, let's see how many packs we have left. I think six packs. We still need a secret rare. Let's see if we pull it. If not, it is what it is. I'll just have to open another box. Mankey. With this bit set being like three years old almost, definitely we'll have to open more before it goes out of print completely. <laughs> I'm completely off the map. Very iconic pack art. I'll definitely keep these as well. Guzzlord is very interesting. Ooh, there's something in the back here. We have Grumpig, Magikarp, Pikachu again. So many Pikachus today. Very happy about that. What's the shiny thing? <gasps> Gyarados. I did say there was a Gyarados in this set. It's also in Korean. And I like this artwork. Very, very nice and bold. So smash that like button, guys, for Gyarados GX. Still the GXs <laughs> after the EXs. And now we're on to V and V Max. I like how they changed it completely. All right, in Sword and Shield era. So we have Kakuna, another Kakuna, Dino or Dino, Piloswine. Another energy card and a mammo swine in the same pack. Oh my goodness. So sometimes I, I have a prediction too. When you get a lot of GX cards, oops, this pack is not. Sometimes when you get a lot of GX cards um, that are not full art or secret rare, that usually means you won't get one. That's something I've noticed over time. Dino or Dino, Swablu, a Selgor, Altaria. It's, I like how Swablu and Altaria were in the same pack. Okay, we have one more pack to see if we get that secret rare today. It has happened, it's not uncommon. Um, I'd say it's very uncommon to happen with Japanese boxes. They are a bit more expensive and better quality, but let's see what we get. We did, did a, get a lot of GXs, so another Pikachu, Swinub, Startled Swablu, I don't know what it's scared at. Regirock, okay, no secret rare today, but we got another Raichu holographic. Count your blessings. Very, very nice there. All right, I'll be right back with you all. All right, so on to our final review. I'm gonna show all the pulls. So a little bit less compared to other boxes, but there's still some repeats. I do like that the fact there's a really adorable Alolan Raichu here. We got Beware, nice Reggie Ice, very, very admirable artwork in the set, and Milotic. I have to say I'm very happy with the pulls that I did get today. So and we did get a lot of GXs as opposed to not getting too many. We have Alcoma O, there's our Ultra Beast. We have Nihilago GX. Iconic Gyarados GX, very nice artwork there. And last but not least, we have an Alolan Executor. So no secret rare today, but did get more GXs than usual. I believe that's how Korean boxes usually make up for not getting a secret rare. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this opening today. If you did so, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon openings. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Oh,